Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Kat Woods. I'm going to come today with a review over the Learning Bible. If you are a new Christian, I highly recommend this Bible. Or if you have been in the Word for a long time and just want something um, to help you out with diving deeper into the Word, this Bible right here is amazing. And um, I'm about to show you why. So this is the hardback. I have the Learning Bible. And we're just going to jump on in. There's so much to share in this Bible. And as always, so little time. It's an American Bible Association. This is the IBM number. Well, it's going to be a big Bible. Let me share all this information. Those of you who are interested in it. And the IBM numbers. So there's two different Bibles. I'm assuming the Flex would be maybe a soft cover. But I've only ever seen the hard cover. And this is um, the welcoming into the common, you know, the common Terry English version. Table of contents. Like I do like how they have the table of contents. Now if we look here, it has all the historical books together. And then over here we have all the prophecy books, all the poetry and wisdom books. So that, that is pretty cool. I like how they do that. And then the Gospels, the letters of Paul. So that, that is a very interesting touch. I have never seen that in a Bible. And then they have the alphabetical order and then like the little abbreviations next to them. So if you ever are looking up a verse and you see just, you know, HOS, well, what does that mean? It explains, or it shows you the name right next to it. And then it even gives you the page number that you can find it on. So, very helpful tool, like I said, for new Christians. And then this walks you through the version of this Bible. And how to use this Bible. Now this Bible has um, these helpful keys here. So there's the geographic, people and nations, objects, plants, and animals. And they have all these little keys. Now we have to remember these little keys. Maybe so you don't have to keep coming back and forth. Make these little keys. Put them on a post-it note. Maybe take a photocopy. Cut it out. Put it on a little post-it note so you can continue to move it throughout the pages just you know to help you until you know what these keys really represent just a helpful tool and it tells you how to refer to it um, like a scripture which is really helpful for a new Christian they see they're still gonna be like okay well what does that mean well it tells you the book it tells you the chapter and it tells you the verse number and it gives you you know walks you through it so I love that that is super cute And then it gives you reading plans. It tells you reading plans. We have, and it's in the back of the Bible. So read through the Bible in a year. And then moments with the scripture. So, so much information. How the Bible came to us. Gives you some helpful little, like, pictures. They're not like realistic pictures, but they are like drawings of what the you know manuscripts and stuff like that was back then what books belong in the Bible so this Bible and this is still like the beginning and it's so much information translations in the Bible so this is the Bible in English so if you look at this you can pause it I'm not gonna stay on it too long so please feel free to pause it and look but how each Bible came to be, where it was branched off from, the year it came, like they made it. That is so cool. I've never seen that in a Bible. So that is so interesting. I like that. 
So just so much information at the beginning. And I do recommend, you know, just going through it. I mean, you, you want to know more about the Bible? Wow, that is fully loaded at the beginning. This is the intro. So we get um, what makes Genesis special, why was Genesis written, and the story behind Genesis. And then again, we get these little keys up here. So this key means something. Um, let's see. I don't even know what the keys mean yet because I've yet to really go through this Bible. Okay, people and nations. So that's what this little key means. So that's why I said I highly recommend so you don't have to go back. Put in this on a little post-it note so you can just take it with you. You get, it is in color. So we get the scripture here. And then, oh, this is still part of the um, in introduction to the book. So we also get how Genesis was constructed. And then we get these little um, key. Yes. Like I said from the beginning. We do have um, references. So, you know, the scripture references down here at the bottom. The font is extremely, you know, it's a good size font. It's not like a large font, but it is a good size font. You can, and you're able to read it. It is a single column, so that does help. It doesn't, it's not all crammed together. It's just, it's right here. And I'll share what it looks like. Now I'm not going to do this to all the pages because we'll never really get through it. But pause it. And it just pulls out so much information. All right, so let's continue. They do have articles throughout this whole Bible. Come on, just tilt a little bit. This Bible is so big, and because of my tilt broke, I'm not able to really move it around. There's articles, there's pictures. I mean, it's a lot of helpful information and stuff like, yeah, you can see it here. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying it it is a real good one for new Christians to you know to get into so they understand what they're reading but even if we've been in the word for a long time you know we we still have questions we we would never not ever come to the Bible and not have questions so a Bible like this can really help help you as you grow. So this is not going to be, because I know we see like a lot of pictures and stuff. They're not really going to be, you know, I don't know how to say, like real prints. They're all like, you know, someone drew them. But they're very well quality. Look at that. And they do have little maps here. I love that when they have maps next to the text. So you don't have to go to the back of the Bible. So a sister, Sarah, in my group had actually um, requested this video. So I, I really appreciate that. I like it when you all request videos because I, I love to get out videos that you really are interested in seeing. So I know she's interested in getting this Bible. So I would like to share all the goodies while you're waiting. Like, there's so much stuff. Like, I'm skipping so many pages. And there's just so much that I could, you know, stop and talk about. Oh, yeah, that's a real photo. So maybe they do have real photos. 
Oh, what's this one? This one's marked. It says prophecy. Prophets and prophecy. Huh, I wonder what this one is. The ancient world, people, powers, and politics. Oh, wow. So, yeah. This is... This, this Bible's interesting. I'll just... I'll keep saying that. It is... And there's so much stuff. So many different timelines. If you're like just one that loves to come to the Word in a study bug. Yeah, just if you want to just really just dive into it, this will be a, such a helpful tool. Now, I won't recommend this for, you know, reading and just really soaking up the Word because that you can get sidetracked. You can get lost in all this information. So this being like the only Bible, well you may be in this Bible for a long time because there's so much information. They have questionnaires. So I do like that. I do believe at the end of the book. Yeah, maybe I don't know if this is at the end or not, but what chapter? Yeah, this may be at the end at the end of the books we get questions over what we've just read. How cool is that? And like good questions too like for us <laughs> so that is cool okay let's get the New Testament here the day of the Lord miracles magic and medicine Wow 12 disciples so I mean oh wow so amazing and you can just look at it like just another questionnaire now I do believe there is no red lettering there is um, like the headers on the scriptures and when it re I guess Huh, I just noticed this. So with the headers, it tells you maybe what you're reading through. If you notice, below the headers, they have these scriptures. Maybe they're more references to look up. I kind of want to know what that is about. I don't know what that is about. That's pretty cool, too. And it's through all of them. How to be a guest. how they made bread back in the time that's interesting and it tells you a little bit more about the bread and it says over here Jesus said I am the bread that gives life that is so interesting and this is like one Bible that I have in my collection that I, I'm always excited about like I really get you know get into but when I close it up I kind of like forget about it so I need to keep it on my desk this is one that needs to be on the desk so when you have questions you want to know more this would be a great one to come to to answer that like it, it really really would be because there's just so much you get the the places you get the people you know yeah the geographic I mean so much information articles questions to ask yourself and come back here and get the plans these are the plans maybe no those are the map index okay I'll come up to 15 minutes that's what I'm flying by here but they did say there is plans oh look at that in the back oh yeah this will be what the plans look like so I am sorry this was super super fast but I did want to hop in here this is the person that had the Bible before me <laughs> so, okay um, remember be a creative tool in your father's art box today and I hope you have a great weekend I'll talk to y'all later